Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to the stream this evening. Um, right, a little bit different today. I'm just going to quickly set up my settings because I'm a little bit late at the moment. I needed to be on here for half past seven, really, when the lobby opened. I'm not doing the normal lobby races initially. Um, the first up that we're doing, let me just turn this light off. The first thing that we're going to be doing is the Super Touring Car Championship with Jackie Daytona. And I've just logged into the room at the moment. And um, that race is kicking off at eight o'clock. I'm sorry for not looking at the camera. I'm all over the place at the moment. Um, so we've got two races. We've got a 14 lap feature race and then we've got a seven lap sprint race. Nervous as anything, don't know how we're going to be doing. We've been doing these all week. So I know what I need to do. But as always, it takes me a few laps to get settled. So I want to try and get a few laps done. I'm then going to be streaming the normal stuff at nine o'clock um, later on, the, the normal lobbies. And that's when I'll get a little bit more vocal and talking online. But for the moment, I'm going to be pretty quiet just whilst I get to grips with the track, the car. And everything else, see if we can get a reasonable qualifying position and then just see if we can get anywhere for our first race within this championship. There's going to be 12 races over six weeks. So uh, this is the first. We're off to Barcelona next, which is a track that I absolutely hate. Um, although I didn't like Brands Hatch initially, but I've got used to it. So that's good. Um, we've got plenty of people in the room. Jackie Daytona, M1M is in. I'm in. Uh, Red Hat Monsters in, Carlos, Fandango, Nixter and Mint Detail at the moment. And in the YouTube chat, we've already got Mint Detail. Dan is in, MC Race is in, Official is in, uh, Mint Detail and Fargo Nice. So I am going to be pretty quiet until around about nine o'clock. Um, so... Let me just put a... Uh, out on the stream just so that people know that I'm going to be pretty quiet to around about um, as serious championship racing I can't spell with my gloves on but we'll pop that up there and I'll just pin that message just so that people can see. Um, so, yep, that's the reason why I'm going to be a little bit quiet this evening. And so first up, let's just get into get on track and just try and get uh, get myself underway. To say I'm nervous would be an understatement. That's pretty, uh, pretty overcast as well. Sort of hoping for good weather. Thank you, Drac. And welcome to everybody. I hope you've had a good day. And I apologise for being very, very quiet initially. Obviously, what I need to do is see how this car behaves compared to how it's been running uh, during the week. Hopefully, my settings are not that far away from the settings that we've been running all week and that we're running now. Got plenty of room behind me for the moment, just while I'm playing around with the uh, settings. Uh, I'm in the Sylvia and I have not got any set up as far as the um, well the tuning has gone out the window because obviously we've got BOP so all the cars are going to be level uh, we can set the um, suspension but whenever I play around with suspension I wreck cars so it's completely standard and for reasons that will become evident midway through the feature race I am running with the uh, brake balance full to the rear for the strategy that I'm going to run. I 
I'm just hoping that nerves don't get the better of me and I spin it <laughs> in the race. Had some good races this week in practice. I've also had some shockers and that's one of my main corners where I'm struggling. As do a lot of people actually on that one. A bit deep there. I'm just going to do a few laps on the softs and then we will knit back over to the hards again. Yeah, Faz, absolutely. It's just exactly what I was just saying. drop on the, uh, the hard size and we'll get out on those and see how we do. This car's quite a bit more slippery on the hard tyres and the uh, weather looks pretty grey out there so if the track is a bit cold that's going to compound things as well. Hey, good evening Jackie and Fargo Nice, Drac Fury and everybody else that I haven't said hello to in the chat. I am going to be very, very, very quiet on chat for a while. Empty, yes it has because it's modelled on the um, British Touring car that Tim Harvey was running back in the 80s which happened to be the Peugeot 406. Uh, so we're actually running British Touring Car liveries, uh, all of the drivers. They've all been provided by the, uh, the people that are hosting this particular championship. And uh, I was put in a draw. I got drawn the Sylvia. But initially I thought, oh my goodness, I'm not going to like that. But I actually started to really enjoy this car. And we've obviously therefore got uh, bespoke liveries as well that we're all running. Um, and mine is the Tim Harvey one. So yes, it's a bit strange, isn't it? It's Peugeot 406 looking on a Nissan Silvia. It's uh, it messed with my head for a short while. Uh, but then obviously I'm in the car, not outside of the car, so I'm not getting to see it. So it doesn't bother me too much. Now, the other thing you'll notice, I'm in the, uh, the view with the dials on the screen. I prefer the bonnet cam rather than the dash cam. Uh, but I do need to see where people are around me and be aware. So uh, that's the reason why I'm running in this particular view tonight. 
and the reason I've been in this view pretty much all week oh that's a big slide that corner is a real problem for a lot of people a lot of people going round in practice in the week and um, you can get a lot of speed off that corner if you get it right if you don't you can lose a lot Ice in the grass. One of the guys set a uh, one thirty eight last night, which was insane. So one twenty eight, which was an insane time. Uh, I was looking for one thirties and struggling to get them especially if I don't get this slowed down enough just struggling with these hard tyres for the moment obviously the 130 would be on soft tyres Carlos already down into the 130.8. That's almost definitely going to be on the soft tyres though. I knew I was in the gravel. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa, big penalty for a barrier collision. Nintendo, the same one I've been driving all week, my friend. It's the Nissan Silvia. The S15 models. It's a Nissan Silvia Type R S15, I think, something along those lines. Dirty tyres for the moment, I think. Come on. Yeah, I don't want to do too many of those uh, penalties. They are going to hurt.
it's trying to stay with mint for the moment don't quite know what tyres is on Who have we got in the room? Kuro's in, Jackie Daytona's in, M1M, Carlos Fantango, I'm in, Malkovich, Nixter, Red Eye Monster, Leroy, and Mint Detail for the moment. Oh. It's a great livery that these guys have put together. Really, really does bring back some memories. It really, really does. In particular, that rapid fit uh, livery that Malkovich is running. Uh, I used to run, I used to work for, not run, used to work for a Ford dealer back in the day when rapid fit first came out. And I remember that car very, very, very well. Not long now, just going to do a couple of laps on the softs and then we'll drop on the hards in preparation for the race. I believe we're kicking off pretty much eight o'clock sharp. Just coming up for five two.
I just muted uh, the stream for the moment there because uh, Joe is uh, hoovering upstairs at the moment. Uh, so we just hit eight o'clock and we've got 11 in. I was expecting a few more than that. Uh, to be honest, um, somebody was just asking about the Discord. Reese, thank you for asking. Yes, I deleted it by accident, had to recreate it. Uh, you should have a new um, new Discord in there one of the issues i have at the moment is i am not listening to jackie um obviously talking about what's going on on the race so i am a little bit blind as far as that is concerned or I'm a little bit deaf i should say as far as that is so i'm just going to have to go with the flow the first race is a 14 lap race we've got uh, 10 minutes of qualifying uh, to do which is a lot more it's double what I normally do we normally do five minutes so we've got 10 minutes of qualifying we've then got a 14 lap race we're then doing a seven lap race with a reverse grid in the for the the, the sprint race I'm assuming that the sprint race the reverse grid is going to be the reverse of where we finish in the first one so um, we will see um, how we go um, the only thing is Drac, I'm not sure who is streaming this. 
um, and whether I have even got them on I wouldn't even know where to find them if I'm perfectly honest um, so I am a little bit in the dark as far as that is concerned unfortunately Uh, should have been a little bit more organised, I think. But there we go. We live and we learn. I'm just doing a search on STCC and yeah, I'm not quite sure who is actually, um, who's doing it. I've got Kuro. But I think uh, Kuro's probably not going to be talking. Uh, do you know who that is, Faz? Can I, I haven't got that um, on my phone. Let me see if I can get it this way. Um, yeah, I can't actually get that to work. Ah, that's a bit of a pain. Oh, I might have just got it. I might have just got it. I think you might have just saved my bacon. The only problem is my phone, because I've been talking on it all day long, is about to go flat. Um, which is going to be another problem. Okay, so I'm listening at the moment, but as I said, uh, I'm not quite sure how long my phone is going to hold out. The other thing as well is um, <laughs> batteries already saying uh, low battery. Um, the other reason why I don't necessarily the other reason why I don't particularly want to listen in is I'm doing I want to concentrate on the stream I want to concentrate on what you you guys are doing so I am probably going to be pulling away from listening to those guys just once we've got the welcome out of the way I will then go silent um That's just answered that question. Good evening, Ernie. Good evening, Clack, Brittany Aziz, Matt, Fargo, Andy Max, Grey Wolf. So, so many people. Matt Mikey, thank you for the membership again. Looks like Kyle is just coming in. Uh, I know Aid is not running this one today. Aid is um, registered for this championship, but unfortunately he can't run today, which is a shame. Jay, uh, Aid is also running in the Sylvia. And you see there's quite a few different cars in here. You've got uh, Dan is in the Genesis G70. Uh, Kuro's in the WX. Kuro hates that WRX, uh, which is a shame because it's one of the cars I wanted. Uh, Jackie is in the Alpha 155. 
M1M is in the Lancer Revolution. Carlos is in the M4. I'm in the Silvia. Malkovich is in the uh, other Genesis G70. Nixt is in the uh, Lexus RCF. Red Eyed Monster is in the Atenza. That's a good car, that Atenza. Uh, Leroy is in the Lancer Revolution. The other car that I was interested in getting. Uh, Mint Details in the Silvia. And Kyle is in Cayman GT4. I don't remember that livery from back in the 80s, but never mind. <laughs> um, right, let's just... All right, when are we getting underway with the quali, I wonder? I'm going to jump out on track, just get a few more laps in. I'm on the softs at the moment. What I've got to remember is to swap back to the hards for the race. If I start on softs, I will be very angry with myself indeed. I was even thinking about qualifying on the hards, so I qualify towards the back. Whoa! That's just straight mint up. <laughs> I think he was going across the track, but... He's all been in the room, in the chat. Anybody? Uh, can I just get a thumbs up on the chat if um, the audio and visuals are okay? Uh, I wasn't worrying too much about the audio and visuals, but we've got 26 people watching, which is surprising me a little bit. Uh, thanks, Brittany. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it looks like Matt's going to be joining. He's going to be taking eighth place, I think. He's going to be in a McNeil Sylvia. Looks like my uh, lobby racing live stream could be running a little bit late tonight, guys, because uh, it sounds like the organisers are giving everybody 10 minutes and then we are going to get this one underway. So it does look like we are going to be uh, about 20 minutes later than I was uh, hoping. And then we've probably got about a hundred, I've uh, got about uh, an hour's worth of racing so uh, we will be a little bit late on Dan's already on a 129.3. Oh.
I've got that one wrong. The only problem is they're doing the photograph but really you need to do that in the race because then you've got the walk around camera and everything else but uh, there we go. Let's come up to the line a little bit. <laughs> yeah the trouble is Jack Jack if you're going to do that you've got to do it in a, a race so we'd have to start a race do the photograph um, it'd be a good thing to do between the two races would be to um, run this race and then do a photograph between the two races Exactly, Drac. It's exactly what I was thinking. Just set up a, a one or two lap race. Very easy to do. Um, obviously, I'm not in the chat, so I can't suggest that to them. Um, Uh, we're going to be starting this in a minute. I think uh, they're just calling out a, a three minute warning.
Hush, Jimmy. Evening, Kushti. Oh. oh I'm gonna be worn out before we even start. Uh, the delay is uh, Faz is uh, taking somebody's place and uh, just sorting out his car at the moment. Uh, we were expecting 16 runners. I think uh, we're going to be a few light. So there's a few people who have not turned up tonight. I don't quite know how many we've got in the room at the moment. but uh, For me... I'm just trying to concentrate on this one tonight. Come on. 15 in the room at the moment. Okay, cool. So I think the 16th will be fast then. But I think we might have two, two in the room that shouldn't be in the room at the moment, I think, by the, by the sound of things. Matt Mikey, I think Carl's just getting kicked or asked to leave one or the other. He's not actually racing. Looks like we're going to get underway in a moment. Okay, 10 minutes of quality and then we are into the race. How can I change my tyres? No. I don't want to do exit and then find that I can't get in the right um, the right tyres. So we're just out to qualify on the hards. Trouble is, that if I exit, do I not come right out? That's better. Couldn't quite work out what that was about. Panic mode setting in already. Heart's going crazy. 
Right, let's ditch the comms. Let's just concentrate now. As much as I love listening to the guys, I want to concentrate. I can't even think which gear I want right now. Come on, calm down Mitchell, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Thank you, Kushti. Yeah, you're right. You know what these events do to me. <laughs> Ernie, they were trying to get you into a BMW, my friend. And they were talking on the uh, on the chat. Unfortunately, now we're into quality. What I would say is, maybe, and I don't know whether they would allow it, is get yourself the BMW, the M4 BMW, and Charles, I don't know which livery it is, and see if you can get in the sprint race. Because it is only the first of 12 races. What it's worth Ernie, they did actually want you to race, they were trying to get you in.
push deep. I've got my head strategist in the room. My pit crew is there, ready and waiting to help me. Strategy tonight, lads, is going to be hard for four laps in on the softs. Just try and manage the tyres, keep them as fresh as possible to the end and just see how we can go. So the main thing will be to try and stay with the front runners, if at all possible, on the hards. Jump onto the softs and then go for it. That is the plan. Oh, and not to do that. <laughs> but V just said, looking smooth out there as I bin it. <laughs> oh, my word. Commentator's curse there, McV. Commentator's curse. Oh. Okay, so barrier collision on the way in is going to be a problem. Uh, do I come out with the barrier collision penalty? Probably. But that's... Yeah, okay, that's the useful thing to know. On the way in, I didn't know that we would get a barrier penalty on the way in there. So um, that's something to, wa to watch. And I've got to remember to get those hards on before it's too late. In fact, I might even call it a day there and just get the hards on. Hey, McVie, I didn't read it. It's, it's a commentator's curse. It's what I normally do to the others when I'm commentating on them. I normally cut to somebody and say, oh, so-and-so, so-and-so's doing really well. Look, they're going really well. And suddenly, boom, off they go for no apparent reason in a, the most obscure accident. What overrun they got on this? I will do, Kushti. I'll do a double check. I'm hoping it's a bit of an overrun and I can get around and try another pit entry check yeah we've got enough time Just going to take it a little bit more cautious through there. Ooh. 
it's not going to stop me. Weird. Straightforward drive through. Oh, won't let me exit. Won't let me exit. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We're up the front and we're starting on hards. Well, at least that's going to slow down the soft runners behind. Assuming I can keep behind me. Let's just sort all this stuff out. Got wires all wrapped around my headphone wire which is going to annoy me i'm going to put the phone away over there i am not going to be looking at the chat during this one so um i apologize if i go quiet uh, but i am not going to be looking at the chat at all because i really want to concentrate however if you really really need my attention like I'm messing up on something, then please put at PlayStation Racer in the chat and I will look when I can. But otherwise, I am gonna be very grateful if you could just be very quiet in the chat. Because you know what I'm like, I'm a chatterbox and I will look. I will look. Okay, that's the tyres on. Oh. It's a fourth at the moment. Dan's the only one in the 128. Kuro has definitely got to grips with that um, in Pretza. One in 29.5. At maximum with a 130.2. I've got a 133. Malkovich 135. Thank you guys yeah just have a quick glance on the back straight only real place you can should look if you really have to christy just remember to chill and have fun man i am my heart is going 10 to a dozen right now absolutely pounding out my chest why do i get myself in these states it's just a race it's just a game i did it with the um nations races i did it with the manufacturers races christy's uh, disappearing thank you christy thanks for dropping in please hit the like button on the way out mate i really appreciate that um mad mikey to be honest just ignore us concentrate on the race you know the strat you'll do good yeah it's just if anything changes and something i haven't noticed or something I need to do, then just go at PlayStation Racer. Otherwise, the chat is just going to be going through and I'm not going to be looking at it. I really won't. <sighs> Crikey, come on, calm down, Mitchell. Just calm down. Tell you what, look at those two WXs up the front there. Both the WRXs. I think Kuro must have done work on the, uh, on the car setup and got that nailed. So congratulations to him. <laughs> Have a good weekend, Kushti. Okay. All right, we should be getting going in a minute. It's a grid start with it's a, a grid start with a fault start penalty, so I need to remember to keep my foot on the brake. Foot is on the brake already. The amount of fault starts I did this week was crazy. I don't want to do that again. Ah, oh, good luck everybody. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I don't know how respectful this is going to be. I don't know how I elbows out or anything. This is a 
Not often I run in other people's lobbies. It is something I want to do more of. But here we go. Round one of 12. Radar's on. Don't blink. It's a long hold. Just want to stay out of trouble for the first few corners. Oh my word. Why does this always happen to me when I get in a race? Come on, settle down, Mitchell. Boy, these racing hard tyres are a lot more slippery than they were last night. They've already caught me out twice.
one more lap and then we can get on with this. Whoa, oh, big slide through there, these. Our tyres are not looking good. Well, they're looking good, but they certainly don't feel it. Let's not hit the wall on the way in. Oh, come on, settle down, settle down, settle down. Hopefully I'll check the right tyres, pick the right ones. Right, gonna overfuel this as normal.
so hard to overtake around here, it really is. Oh, it might be a penalty. Did slow down a little bit just to try and ease it off. Looks like we might have got away with that.
bias like it's starting to slide around a little bit Breathe, Mitchell. Breathe. Keep forgetting to breathe. Thank you, Mint. That's too deep. That's too deep. That's a mistake. My word! <laughs> yes, yes, get in there! Yes, woo! <laughs> well, I don't know what the feature, what the, uh, the the sprint race is going to be, but that one is for all of you guys that have raced this with me night after night after night after night this week. Thank you so much. You've all taught me so much. Chasing you being chased by you i've had some enormously fantastic races with jenky and i really wish jenky was in a room to have seen that because that one is for you my friend you pushed me so much over the last few days jenky and for oh ernie for your help kushti for your help shumi's helped i'm not going to mention any more names because too many people have given me advice and help this week um Jack Kobe, he gave me a key tip um, midweek, which was just a bit of a step forward for me. So we raised it for one position. We did fall back, but that was on the hard tyres. But whoa. Wow. Woo. Oh, my word. I'm cream crackered and we've got to do all that again now. We've got to do all of that again. Um, wow. Righty. That was something else. That was something else. Oh. That was something else that was. Um, 
sorry guys i'm quiet i'm just i am i need to recover that was something else whoa Oh, it looks like we're losing Dan at the moment. So it uh, looks like we're going to be a man down in the next one. One of the really quick races. Okay, so it is the same track. And I haven't done much running on the medium softs, uh, sorry, the medium tyres in this one. So this could be quite interesting. Thought we were going to do a little uh, photo shoot, but um, that would have given us a little bit of a break. But um, thank you, Curry. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, everybody, for um, for your your praise in there. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that again in the next one. We shall see. Um, obviously, I haven't got the benefit of the pit strategy in this one. It is just a straight race. Yes, 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 yes. Um. Right, they're going to need to start the race so that's the only thing you need to do it in the race now we need to do a race guys so you can do the walk around picture Um, what are they doing? What are we doing?
obviously we're not doing a walk around. Yeah, but it needs... I don't know what they're doing. It needs to be a... Um, needs to be a race, surely. Um, I don't quite understand what they're doing because normally we do a, a race exactly but we're not in a race are we we're just practicing I, th I thought Kuro I thought it would need to be a race so we can do the walk around but we're not in a race we just seem to be in practice mode so I'm, a, I'm confused as to what they're doing How are they going to do the picture? This would be interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Just goes to show what I know. I know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. No way, screw it. This is probably a better way than I do it then. We're learning some new stuff this evening. Um, why has my screen just gone blank? Okay, now they're starting to the race. <laughs> oh man. What have I been saying for the last two or three minutes? <laughs> we need to do this in a race. <laughs> Let's all bend our cars before we get there. Hopefully they know not to overlay each other. Uh, which is the issue that we often have. Yeah, Kuro, to be quite honest, um, I'm in the mindset I'd rather just get it done, especially as we're quarter past nine already, so we're way over what I thought we would be. Um, and the problem is you get in the zone and then you get into all these sorts of shenanigans. Um, hopefully it will be quick. Hopefully it will be quick. Come on, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't think so.
point is I lined up first and everybody's lining up on me so hopefully the two next to me are not touching trouble is when you look you can't tell because they're all ghosted anyway so yeah Reese, I know we all want to get into the lobbies I know I know I know right are we going Right, as soon as we get round and we're set, I'm going to lose the comms again and just concentrate on the race as I did before. Yeah, I know. That's why I only do the photographs on a Friday. I uh, refuse to do them during the re week because I want to race. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And we've got quite a few photographs now, so I sort of want to sort of move away from the photographs. It's nice to do this one, but. I've got quite a few photographs of all of us. Hopefully we can get back into it. It is Friday. It is Friday. It's Friday. Friday's photograph day. Right, let's lose the phone. Oh, and turn it over so I cannot see it bleeping and doing whatever it's doing and we will have to make sure that we are on the medium we are i'm gonna go with break balance five which is good we'll enter the race it's just practicing and straight in so i'm not quite sure how much practice we're going to get Been well run though so far it's been a, a good little event so congratulations to the guys that put this together it was uh, nice that they managed to get a couple of extra guys in at the uh, at the start uh, which was a little bit of a delay but it's been nice to have a few extra people and it'll be nice to have the photograph hopefully they'll share the replay and um, we'll be able to use that So I'm, I'm glad that we did the photograph. Well, you reckon Dan had a dead front, front left for most of that race? I must admit, I really do try and look after my tyres in that race. Mind you, we've got Barcelona next, and I am not very good around Barcelona. I'm going to have to learn that track. Spend a lot of time on that one. So Matt's tyre was dead from lap 10 onwards. I did actually have quite a bit of tread left on the tyres at the end. Whoa. Matt 
lap hits when in uh, lap six. So did you start on the softs, Matt, or did you start on the hards? I started hards and then pitted on lap four. You started hard, yeah. <laughs> Even the steering wheel in the car is stupidly hard, stupidly small. Of course, Kuro will be running in um, VR, I'm assuming. sure how this one's going to go uh, I'm assuming we're going to be starting towards the back of the grid as well because we've got a reverse grid um, so yeah oh I didn't get away there at all That's right, we'll stay out of the way of the shenanigans into the first corner. Traffic's not falling well for me in this one. I oh, lost you got a car on the outside of you, mate.
Wow. Sorry, Maximum, but there's nothing I could do about that. The road's running away with this one. Way out in front. Go, my friend. Oh, come on.
I'm chasing down that blooming alpha again. But running out of time. be a penalty. Got away with it, thank goodness. Hope that was clean on Jackie. Whoa, I hope that move was good on Jackie. I really, 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 really do. Wow, Kuro has nailed the WX this time. From zero to hero. Look at that, four and a half seconds ahead. I was catching uh, Nixter at the end, but unfortunately I got tied up behind um, Baz and Malkovich, and I think I got tucked up behind Jackie as well. And uh, assuming they were the right people, and just lost a little bit too much time um but i'll take a double podium every day of the week nine places raised in that one. Oh boy and a clean race bonus into the bargain um no pleasure in that win for me kuro why not a win's a win my friend win is a win oh wow 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 save the replay on that one too boy oh boy so we are way late it's half past nine just gone half past nine um that was that was something else that was a tough old race uh kuro won that one with a 131 two uh next to gaming got second with 131 four i don't believe it i've got the fastest lap a 130.7 i don't do that Oh my gosh, that's a point, I think. I think that's a point. Uh, so third place and the fastest lap. Jackie Totona in fourth. I had a real battle with him. Uh, M1M Racing in fifth. Had a battle with Faz as well in sixth. Uh, Malkovic in seventh. Maximum in eighth. Carlos Fandago in ninth. Jackie Boy in tenth. Red-Eyed Monster. Ah! Red-Eyed Monster. Hold that thought. Uh, Radar Monster in 11th, Leroy Jenkins in 12th, and Mint Detail 13th. Leroy and Mint didn't finish, but your top three, Kuro, Nixta, and myself. But a real old mix of cards. You've got WRX, the Lexus, the Sylvia, the Alpha, the Lancia, and then we repeat when we get down to the Sylvia. And then Malkovich in the uh, Genesis. So quite, quite a mix quite a mix 
Well, 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 well. I guess I ought to just just dive into the chat for the moment and um, just see what is going on. And then we will get into our own lobby racing and see how we do. Um, oh, wow. Um, right okay we're coming out we're going to dive into lobby racing we are going to be hopping into lobby racing and um don't know what we're going to do today just gl4 stuff uh, let me just uh, check i have got some friend requests i think yeah uh, so I'll just accept that one we are all done and dusted Whew. right pop that up there so great new room I am done um load settings um do you guys want to have a go at that one in the chat or would you rather do some other track um what i'm going to do is i'm going to knock it down to seven laps whatever we do um, but we can either do that one or we can head off and do a um a different track if you want uh, we could do barcelona if you want Barcelona without the chicane is the track next week. So we will be running that just to try and get up to speed as we've done this week. But at least those of you that watch me day in, day out, and you see me crashing and wrecking my car and just having a jolly awful time, you can see how I can race when I actually put my mind to it and I ignore the chat and I enjoy the. I, 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 ignore the chat and i just enjoy the race without any pressures of streaming um so it's um yeah it's just the way that uh, that we go I'm, I'm actually going to um because i'm not seeing anything in the chat at the moment but i don't know what the lag is at the moment um where's barcelona we're off to sunny spain can't even find it it's been deleted um let's just load this one up and see what happens um i mean we are 40 minutes later than normal nearly three quarters on now so i don't even know whether people are going to want to race if i'm perfectly honest um i'm just happy to just see how things go and um yeah i might just do a few laps of this one on my own if it comes to it who knows oh we've got a few people dropping in already uh 
Uh, Fargo Nose, did I have to save fuel? No, I didn't. No, I was just flat out going for it. Um, on both of them. Uh, you can see I had a, um, a full lap of fuel left on the first one and the second one. But I did overfuel on the first one. Because what I did find is if I ran the fuel up to the diamond in the pit stop and came out. Then I was having to just upshift a little bit in the race so i decided to overfuel so i had no fuel worries and i could just go for it so that probably cost me i don't know about half a second something like that just to get that extra little bit of fuel but for my peace of mind i think it was worth it and um i i felt that the strategy was good um i did notice that when we first started doing this earlier in the week uh most of us jumped onto the softs um, I pretty quickly thought, oh, actually, I'm going to go hard. Just even if I'm at the back, I can get them out of the way, jump onto the softs and then just get in the clean air and run on the softs in the clean air. And I think because we ran <laughs> quite a few of these in the week, uh, um, a few people copied, which is fine. It's fine. I don't have any problem with that whatsoever. It made for a good race. It, it meant that I had people I was chasing and slipstreaming quite a bit. And to get two podiums was absolutely fantastic. And um, I'm just hoping that the two moves that I had to do on, um, on Mr. Dotorna was, was okay. I felt they were okay. I didn't feel any door rubbing or anything like that. I felt that they were good moves. But boy, did I have to work for them. I really had to work for those uh, quite a fair bit. Now, this is a track that I really, really do not know. So um, I'm probably going to crash out on this, uh, but also I want to try and get up to speed on it. So, um, yes, we shall see. We shall see. Uh, Dan, I started soft, did six laps, six laps, then two laps on hards with only splash of fuel, then finished on softs. So you did a two stopper. Ooh. Wow, I wouldn't have thought a two stopper would have been on the card. Uh, my PSM will come up. Spuds, uh, I thought we were already friends. But it's a good race. I'm not quite sure how, what happened with um, the two cards I was chasing on lap six, where they got into each other and went off on the first corner. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, but I was... I was sort of in two minds. Did I go for a move or did I sit and wait for something to kick off? At the end of the day, I had to race and I couldn't quite catch them. And then it kicked off. So I was very, very lucky, very lucky indeed um, to have got away with that one. Um, and I think that the, the podium was gifted to me. Uh, but hey ho, that is the way that it goes sometimes in racing. Um, Damn, worn hearts would be a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Um, so yeah, I was quite pleased that that, um, that that strategy came off because one of the things I really liked about it is when I dropped into that earlier in the week, it was something, I'm not being big headed here, and I hope nobody takes it that way, but it was something that I worked out rather than copying everybody else, which is normally what I do. Normally I'm copying other people's cars. I'm copying other people's setups. I'm copying their lines. I'm copying their breaking points. You know, I'm copying other people all the time. So it was quite nice for me to come up with that pit stop strategy myself. And uh, yeah, I was pleased with that. I was very pleased with that. Um, Grumpy Age Gamer. Just accepted yours. Um, Dan, you did amazing with how long you get out of the softs. It's, uh, yeah, I've, I've had quite a few people have commented on the fact that I, I drive quite smoothly and I found that very often that can stand me in good stead with the strategy. Uh, very often when I look, I've got a little bit of tire left, uh, tire wear left on my tires, whereas some of the other people around me are completely shot. Um, so you know it's just it's something i've been working on is smooth smooth racing um 
trying to ease the brakes on, ease the accelerator, ease the steering wheel, just sort of yeah, just keep it a bit smoother. It did slow me down for a time, and I think it has still slowed me down. But smoothness is number one. I'm reading a book at the moment. Um, I really ought to show you the book at some point. Uh, remind me next week and I'll, I'll pull it out. Um, but I'm reading a really, really, really interesting book. It's about real life racing. Um, but the first section is all about understanding your car. And I'm just doing a, a chapter at the moment, which is all about smooth. And there's also uh, a, a particular chart, which is a circle, um, the, cir the curve circle or something, I think it is, where you get your braking, your trail braking, your acceleration through the apex and then accelerating out. And, and it should be a smooth curve all the way through. So as you're braking and turning the steering wheel, it needs to add up to like 100 percent. And as you come off the brakes, you can turn more on the steering wheel or as you apply more steering, you need to come off the brakes more. Uh, and these sorts of things are sort of are helping me and I'm trying to put into practice. But it's not easy. It is not easy. Um, trying to put all this stuff. It, it takes a while. It really, really does. Uh, but it is it does seem to be making a bit of a difference. race up Barcelona that's exactly my that that's my that's my sentence of the day technical term there oh Barcelona I hate Barcelona I hate this track with a passion but we've got to nail this for next week if I am to try and keep the points rolling in it's just something that I am going to need to do and that means that I am going to need to do a lot of a lot of running on this track so forgive me guys throughout this week i will be doing random lobby racing uh monday to friday but monday tuesday wednesday and thursday well no not this no it's not this friday it's a week friday it's a week friday we're doing it so we've got loads of time to practice actually uh, but in the lobby racing i am going to be running this race that we've got here but 14 laps just so that i can work on the strategy the tires the car everything for the moment because time is getting on, um, I'm just doing a quick seven lap race on, um, I think we're on the, I don't know, what tyres, what tyres did I say we would use? What tyres are we on? Um, hards and softs, and that is not going to work. I'm now going to annoy everybody. Um, because I'm actually going to change that to, back to mediums because we, we're not going to want to pit. Uh, yeah, we'll just go medium. So basically what we're doing here is mirroring the sprint race that we've just done. On Monday, we'll do the feature race, which will then include the tyres and stuff like that. Uh, so I just need to go and um, change the tyres. Forgive me guys, that was my mistake. And weirdly, in this car, the brake balance to the rear, which shouldn't be where it is, seems to be working quite nicely for me. I, I tend to find that that is quite, quite balanced. Uh, race, I'm with you, my friend. I don't like this anymore. I hate this track really do i really 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 do um right i'm just uh waiting for drac to pick his car and then we'll get this one underway see how we do so i just got five minutes to get to grips with things and then we will be off oh we've got somebody else joining so in this one at the moment we've got uh, greg white gamer dan shumi harry spuds joey tempest faz me Mad Mikey, Drap Fury, and Sanji. Another one of the guys from RRT. Now, what are we doing?
I'm assuming that Sanji is a friend of somebody, or have I got this on a public room? I'm suspecting not. I think these are friends of friends. Um, but I am over time, so I'm going to get this one underway in a minute if they don't grab the cars. Um, Mad Mikey, I'm much the same, my friend. I'm uh, much the same. We're both going to need to practice. So you're going to come in and practice. Um, I'm just looking up through the um, through the chat, and I've just noticed that Paul White says you're a lot faster on that track now, Mitchell. A lot of practice went into that one. A lot of practice. Um, Uh, Jack, I mean, we can do a GR3 if you want. We can do a GR3 if we want. Um, in fact, a GR3 around here might actually help me. So we do a GR4, then we do a GR3. How about that? Um, I don't know what Sanji and... Oh, Sanji's in. And um, we got somebody else now. Um, Bazel, another RRT. No ice drag, it's fine. I'm just waiting for Fazel. And then we'll get this one underway. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. So there's two RRT guys in here. Can anybody tell, have we got this room on public or private? Is, is anybody able to tell? I don't seem to be able to tell myself. Um, it should be friends only. Thing is, I've got, getting on for 400 friends now. Um... Come on, Fazel. Right, I'm going to get this one undergoing, underway in a minute. Um, I don't know what Fazel's doing. He's in the McGann Trophy, he's in. And we're off. We're off. Yes, buds, you won't see me until you friend me because it's a friend's only room, so that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, and of course... If you're a friend of a friend, then you can find the room as well. It gets a bit complicated. Now I haven't got a clue where the breaking points or anything are on this one. Oh. You've got some of these massively long corners that you need to carry a lot of speed around. Oh, breaking onto the bridge is not going to work. My word, trying to find a break reference point there is impossible. There's like I'm going to have to study the replays on this, I think. 
I'm going to let this car through. Reese, did I ever tell you I don't like this track? Ooh. So where are we going around here? Let's um, stick the old track map on. Oh my word. Reese, did I ever tell you I hate this track? <laughs> Reese, I need you to come and race and keep me company, mate. God, look at this changing up and down, up and down, up and down for a corner. That's crazy. Not good. Not good at all. I don't blame you, my friend. Track. We're going GR3s next, but not here. We'll pick another track. See what I fancy, actually, guys. I fancy GR3s at the Nordschleifer. But at the end of this race, we'll go GR3s. I'm going to let you guys decide on the track. Oh, McVie, the problem is, once we're into qualifying, you can't get in the race. But I will do another one after this. Do we need to change all the way down to first through there? Hello, cats. I've seen you around for a while. How are you doing? Oh, better than me, I hope. I cannot do this track. I love that name, Boots and Cats. Wicked. Yeah, not seen you around for a while. Yeah, Ninja's in as well. I've seen Ninja for a while. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, I think I will. I need to. Uh, I need to certainly do some um, research on this before I go racing it. I think I might even commentate this race, depending on how many people we got in the in the race itself. Hooked it again. Yeah. I'm gonna um I'm gonna duck out of this one and do a little commentary. I need to do a lot of homework on this one. Thankfully, 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 we've got two weeks before we're running this one. It's uh, two weeks Friday. But thankfully I've got a load of time to practice this. So Ninja's been doing dailies with Hatterlav for the last hour. Oh, how did you get on? Oh, uh, Boots and Cats. I need you to teach me how to run this track then. So I really struggle here. As you can see, you can't even get around the corners.
I really wish that we could let people in after the quali. They just join at the back. Well, you can see I'm so, so, so far off the pace. So far off the pace. Wow, we've got 14, 14 runners in this one. I say we've got 14, we've got 15 people in the room, but I think we've only got 11 runners. We've got quite a few people that are... Um... Um, sort of tempted just to jump out of this, but it's only seven, it's only a short one. It's only a short one. Let's just uh, get the race underway. And... Um... Yeah, let's just start this race and then um, we'll get into another one straight after because there's quite a few of you want to race. It's not a long race. It's only seven laps. So it'll only be about 10 minutes and then we'll get into another one, uh, which is going to be GR3s. But where, oh, where, oh, where? Who knows? Who knows what's in the black magic box? OK. Um... Okay, so we got Greg White ahead of Shumi, Gamer Dan in third, Mad Mikey in fourth for selling fifth, but we got places swapping around already at the moment. Greg White in front, Mad Mikey now in second with Shumi in third, going into the first corner. Mad Mikey moves across, or sorry, Greg White moves across, gets a lovely line into that first corner. Oh, we got a few of them jump in the corner. That's going to be quite interesting to see what happens. I'm actually going to drop back to the follow cam. And we'll just pick up with, well, there's all sorts going on. We're on board with Harry Spuds at the moment in the McLaren. Just making a move on Fazel or Fazel. Uh, we've got a car on the inside as well, making a move. That's Joey Tempest, but uh, Fazel is going to hold that one. Joey trying to go around the outside doesn't quite manage to pull that one off but this is really really close at the moment you've got Shumi out front now he's managed to do a move on Greg White although if I've got um, any money in my pocket I'll put it on Greg fighting that one back again but uh, Shumi is running really well we've got Joey making a move on Frazel no didn't quite manage to get that we've got another move going on here Harry Spuds is looking to go through the middle of Gamer Dan and Greg White Three into this is never going to work, my friends. They're going to have to sort themselves out. Harry Spud's trying to go around the outside. Greg White's picked up a half-second penalty and all of that. Game of Dan getting a good run on, Spuds. And we come out to finish the first of seven laps. It's going to be Shumi out front. Greg White in second. Harry Spud's in third. Game of Dan in fourth. We've got Joey Tempest right behind this little group. In fact, it's really, really close all the way through. Fazel is going well in sixth. Baz is chasing him down with a half second penalty at the moment. Drac Fury a little way off the back and Sanji is on the back of Drac Fury. But I tell you what, this is where the action is. Three wide into the first corner. Gamer Dan comes out first in that one. Spuds in third and Greg in fourth. I said Gamer Dan in first, of course, he's in second. Commentator curse getting the better of my tongue, but we're going to jump on board with Greg for this. This is a super tight little battle. All the time this battle's going on, Shumi is making tracks and getting away. Greg White with a beautiful corner on this, a nice exit. Can he get up the inside of Gamer Dan? Gamer Dan's going to have the inside for the next corner. Harry Spuds move over to defend. Greg White trying to go around the outside, not quite pulling that one off just yet. Oh, Gamer Dan and Harry Spuds get into each other a little bit. Joey is still right there. Greg still got that half second penalty or is that a new one? I haven't got a clue because there's just so much going on. Oh, a little bit of a nudge there and Greg goes a little bit wide. Hopefully that won't be another penalty. He was helped off, so I think that will be okay. But uh, Joey pushing on. Joey backed out of that little nudge, so all friendly there. That's Greg taking his penalty, but he's got another half second penalty straight away. I don't know what all that is about. Poor Greg is penalty king around here right now. 
Brazil is not too far off the back of this little pack but this is where it is right now just spreading out just a little bit we've got Gamer Dan leading Harry Spuds leading Joey Tempest leading Greg at the moment Shumi way out front and going really really nicely this is Shumi in the Lexus really using all of the track there getting right the way out to the left I do love watching this guy race I love watching his lines he's so smooth when he gets in the zone like this there's a lot of really really good races but I tell you I just love watching this guy race guy you can see the flex in the car there as he comes around that corner just see the way that he's balancing the car just keeping it nicely balanced through these corners making it look super easy but let's just jump back to our race I'm going to use the follow cam again because oh my word Greg is now up to one and a half seconds on the penalties what is going on I'm wondering whether Greg is uh, just trying to get into this and I'm just cutting the corners just a little bit too much or whether the car he's got is just sliding around a little bit too much so now we go forward with Joey Perry Spuds has got a one second penalty now so these guys up the front here are racking up penalties at the moment which is going to really play out as we go through the race it means that Shumi out front can really just settle down and run his race Gamer Dan I know he's going to be chasing him hard. Harry Spuds has got a one second penalty which is going to hurt. That's uh, potentially going to put him back into the clutches of Greg White potentially. I wouldn't be surprised actually. Greg is not out of this yet. Uh, Faz is right there as well. He's making some good tracks catching up with uh, Greg White on the slipstream at the moment. Looking for the inside line that's going to compromise his line a little bit through here that may well give Greg the opportunity to pull away but I'll tell you what that Nissan is so much better planted than the Master that Greg is in that Master really does look to be a right handful in this particular race Master's normally pretty good but Faz has got himself a half second penalty now uh, Greg is clear of penalties, thankfully. Joey Tempest making a move on Harry Spuds. He's going to go up the inside. He's got the inside line for this next corner. Harry Spuds has also got the penalty, so there's no point him really fighting that, but he's, he has, and he's gone a little bit deep. If that had been me, I think I'd have probably just tucked in behind, got the penalty out the way, and just tried to stay with Joey as much as I could. Um, he did fight that one. They do say Vaughan Racers will fight. Pulls over to the right-hand side. Thank you for that. Nice and respectful. That's going to let Bazell possibly come through. Is Harry Spuds going to be able to cover this one off? Bazell just managing to get that one slowed down. He gets the move done on Harry Spuds. Can Spuds do anything about this going through here? Where's Greg? Greg's just off the back of this one still but if you look at his tyres his tyres are completely shot he's actually coming in now to ditch them this Master has completely chewed its tyres in a way that the McLaren hasn't that the Renault hasn't Joey Tempest hasn't Gamer Dan look at these tyres are perfect on all the others but Greg's tyres just absolutely melted on that Master So where are we now with the racing this is the only real battle we've got on track at the moment this is Spuds versus Frizzell so Frizzell not really needing to defend too much at the moment oh Spuds going a little bit deep into that one Harry sorry Frizzell getting it really loose on the exit that's going to bring Spuds right back into play. Spuds can see that Pazell is a little bit loose with that uh, Renault at the moment. The McLaren looking a little bit better planted. 
Tyre's not looking too bad on the wear. I hope these guys are watching the fuel though. Is there a move going into this left hander, into the right hander? No. But will there be one going into the left hander? It was a left hander I was thinking about. Pazel, can he hold that? Can he keep it up the inside? I think that that move, oh no. Wow, 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 Fazel, what a move to hold that. Harry Spuds went a little bit deep. He couldn't get over following the overtake to close that one off. So Fazel lives to fight another day. Here we go. So we've got another little battle going on here. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, Baz seems to be right off the track. I'm wondering whether there was a little incident there. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but up front, it's all a bit spaced out at the moment. Uh, we've still got Spuds chasing down Fazel. Shumi is still way out in front. He's got this race absolutely in his pocket. Greg, unfortunately, is a little bit out of this. The uh, car was... I think it was a poor choice. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I'm also looking at this fuel situation with some of these cars. So we've got Drac Fury and Faz are now in the pits for a splash and dash. Looks like Shumi has continued. Has he been able to fuel save whilst he's been out front? Possibly. Gamer Dan going well too. And also Joey. I don't think any of those guys have pitted. So I'm hoping they've been watching their fuel. Spuds' fuel gauge is absolutely blinking. I'm going to jump up front to see how we are doing. So Shumi, tyres looking pretty good. Fuel situation's not too bad either. Uh, so he's going really, really, really well. Let's just do the, uh, the external view. Just enjoy this car. really going rather nicely gamer dan is in the sylvia going really nicely too although his tire on the near side the left hand front is absolutely shot it's uh similar to shumi's they're similar on tire wear and joey's tires are not looking too good either and uh Fazel is actually looking to have the better tires out of all of this and he's got a little bit of fuel in hand as well. So this could yet be rather interesting. Harry Spuds is in. Uh, Greg White obviously on the new racing mediums. He is going to be quick. But we are into the final lap. Got the last half of the lap underway. Um, got a little bit of a battle with Fazel chasing down. Joey Tempest at the moment. Let's just jump on board with the follow cam for this one. I think the Fazel's tyres are slightly better, but he's still going to need to look after them. But also just look at the fuel blinking. Just about half a lap to go. This seems to be the race. The rest is all fairly settled. So this is the race for the podium. Can Joey hold it? Or can Fazel find a way past? It's point six is the gap, so Slipstream should be in play here. Can Fazel get a good exit here? Can Joey get a good exit off that corner? Both of them get it a little bit loose. Fazel taking a little bit more of the curb, trying to find a little bit extra. Ninja, I'll be back with you in a moment. Ask me that in a moment. Uh, I'll just join this race. And Shumi has come across the line. It should have cut to Shumi to come across the line, but I just wanted to see who was going to win out of this one. And it looks like Joey is going to get it on the line. He does. Pazel couldn't quite do it. Greg White is going to come across to take fifth. Uh, definite, definite tyre issues on that Mazda. Uh, he looks smooth enough, but that front left-hand tyre just evaporated on that car. 
absolutely no tyre whatsoever. It's a nice turned out car, that eBay one though. Very, very nice looking car. Harry Spuds had a really, really good battle in the McLaren. He is going to come across the line to take sixth. Sanji in the BMW, the H&R car. He's going to come across the line to take seventh. And then we'll have uh, Drac Fury showboating as always, lighting up the uh, the tarmac with smoke as he goes across the line. Uh, but Shumi was your winner in that one. That front tyre completely shot, absolutely nothing on that tyre whatsoever. Clean race bonus. That was really in the bag, wasn't it? So Shumi was your winner with a 149.3. Gamer Dan was second with a 149.3 also. Look at that. Two thousandths of a second between those two fastest lap times. That's amazing. Joey Tempest in third with a 150.3. Fazel in fourth. Greg White in fifth with the fastest lap a 148.6. Harry Spuds in sixth. Sanji seventh. Drac Fury eighth. Baz ninth. And Mad Mikey tenth and me. 11th but Baz, Mad Mikey and I were all DNS. Your top three there, Shumi, Gamer Dan and Joey Tempest. Congratulations to the three of you. Okay, right, somebody said they wanted to go GR3s, so I'm going to change this to GR3s. Uh, what track do we fancy, guys? What track do we fancy? Um, Ninja, you were asking, basically you were gifted a membership for a month. So it means you've got access to the emoticons that I make available in the game. Um, so if you click on the little smiley face, you should see some different ones, different uh, little pictures that you can use. Uh, I couldn't tell you who gifted that. There was um, quite a, pe a few people gifting over the uh, charity stream that I did. Uh, Game of Dan, Nürburgring. I did mention Nürburgring, didn't I? I mean, it's um, the Nordschleifer, I'm assuming. There you go, Ninja. Except you use too many of them. Now he's got to wait a, a minute before he can do any more. <laughs> um, right, we won't do seven laps on that. Uh, we'll do two. We'll do two laps. And I'm going to do this as a practice and a race. Because um, it'd just be too much otherwise. And I'm going to take the tyre wear down to once. This is going to be more just a straightforward sprint race on this one I don't know which car to use I don't know which car to use good night Mad Mikey see you on Monday have a really cracking cracking weekend um blah, blah, blah. what um what did i decide for the tires i think it's just mediums pretty sure it was just medium tires i did yeah medium tires um change the car uh, i might go with yeah i actually quite like the aston martin so i'm going to go with the aston martin Thank you, Mad Mikey. Yeah, the fastest lap was a bit of a surprise. Real surprise, that was. I don't know where quite where that came from. Um, but yeah, I was pleased, pleased to get that. You want me in the Beetle? I don't even know if I've got the Beetle. I don't I've ever run the Beetle.
If this is a rubbish car, my friend, you're going to be in trouble. Right, we've got 16 runners in this one. 16 people. Who have we got? We have got Boots and Cats, Greg White, Gamer Dan, Joey, Too Good, Baz, myself, Drat Fury, Smokey, Fazel, Jonesy, Junior, and we're just waiting for RL9010, Shumi, Sanji, and Hokey. Um, RL, were you, were you the one that had the. Um, the shenanigans with Christie the other night. I can't remember who it was now. Uh, Shumi, what, what race is it tomorrow? I need Shumi to... Uh, is it Nürburgring tomorrow? Shumi shout, Shumi shout out the um, details for the manufacturers, and I'll I'll set it up accordingly. Because I haven't got a clue what it is. So it's a Nordschleifer, and is it on hard tyres? Hard tyres around the Nordschleifer. GR threes. Oh my gosh. This is going to be insane. How many laps? Probably be loads. Two laps, hards. Endurance, five laps. Two will do. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do rain. Um, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to go custom weather. The weather's going to do whatever the weather's going to do. Oh. I forgot I can't do that. Oh, fiddlesticks. Sorry, guys. I just bumped the room. Let me set that up again really quickly. I don't know why it does that sometimes when I hit that button. Um, oh. I'm assuming there's no tyre wear on this for tomorrow. If there is tyre wear, let me know and I'll set that up as well. Okay, so it should be two hard tyres. Um, we'll see how we how we go. Um, okay, we're good on that. I think have I got to go and buy more? Oh no, I've got the hard tyres. Hard tyre? I can't believe you're making me do this on hard tyres. I can't race this at the best of times, let alone on hards. Okay, well, um, Christy and I spent about an hour um, going through the replay. And um, it was quite bumpy all the way through. Um, it was a bit 50-50, I felt, all the way through. But the move at the end was um yes not acceptable and uh christy has apologized and um yeah i think he um he was pushing a bit hard he got it uh, a little bit wide on that corner and um yeah 
So we have had words. We have had words. Um, I think that um, there was two main overtakes. I mean, you were getting bumped all over the place by all sorts of people. Um, but there was one where Christy went up the inside of you on one of the corners and he held the line um, and you went around the outside, which was OK. Then there was another one where we you were off the track. And then when you came on, um, there was a bang through that corner. And Christy, I think, felt that it was a, a, a bit of a push. And then when he got to the next one, just before you got to the end of the race, was when he drifted off and just took you at the same time it just drifted out to the outside of the, the edge of the corner um so yes uh, i think he felt a bit bad about it because he asked me to look at the replay uh when i was supposed to be going to bed and then he texted me in the morning as well so i think that it um it did play on his mind a little bit uh so hopefully the two of you can put that um hopefully you can put that behind you and um yes but even when it's my friend I've still got to treat it impartially and I did say that um, I did feel that the, the move at the end, deliberate or not, was was a little bit, um, I think I said to him it's a little bit unfortunate, which is the words I use. King Weirdo, thank you for the 99 my friend, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was an intense race. Um, and it, it was it was it was interesting. Baz, why the tire change? Um, because of the manufacturers tomorrow. Um, oh, Jack's just Jack's just uh, replied. Um, right, I think we got everybody in, and hopefully everybody's had enough time. So um, I am going to uh, get this race. Um, I need to start at um, 22.30, which gives them actually no warning, but never mind. So less than a minute and then we'll be underway. Uh, Mr. Fury, I am in the Beetle. If it's not a good car. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, 90, 10. Um, yeah, can we... I have a request. Can we let that go now? Um, Boots and Cats. The Beetle is his second favourite car. What's your first? What's he in? What's he in? I can't even find him. Is he not racing? It's Boots and Cats. Oh, he's in the 458 Italia. Right. Um... He's in Italia. Uh, I'm just waiting for 9010 and then we're going to go racing. But the replay was very telling. I mean, there was lots of banging going on in that race. It was a real British touring car, 1980s British touring car race. Um, if it had been a real race, we'd have had no mirrors, no straight panels. Uh, it was It was something else. So I can understand how tempers did get frayed on that one um, right I'm just waiting for RL and then we will be on our way I think that that is pretty much everybody in here let's get this one going so we've got 14 or 16 for this one I can't be late tonight, guys, because I've got a lot on over the weekend. Um, but we'll see how this one goes. And then we may well do another one afterwards. We'll see how we go. Uh, but as usual, please just keep it respectful. We know the Lord Schleifer is a bit of a handful, but please just try and keep it respectful. If you do bump somebody off, then please just give the place back by way of an apology. And um, yeah, just have fun. We're here to have fun. Oh, what a place to start me, right on the corner. Actually, that was a bit better than I thought there.
Oh my gosh, this is quick after the uh, after the GR4s. And of course, I've got the be the Beetle King behind me. Whoa! But that didn't take long to go around, did it? Oh, this beetle's horrible. traction control have I got on? Well, trying to get that beetle in a straight line was not easy. Let's see if we can do a little bit better now. Incidentally, I'm saying the beat was horrible. It's not horrible. It's just that yours truly can't drive it. It's probably a great car. <laughs> it's just any car I can't drive is horrible. That's that. That's what I reckon in my book. Bus. Somebody decided to do hard tyres. Oh. Mikey, this car's impossible. No, it's not the car, it's the driver. Oh. Hi Ryan, thank you very much for the like. I'm struggling with this car. Should have stayed with the GR4s. <laughs> ah, I give up. I give up. I don't often rage quit, but the last thing you want to do is just watch me going round and round and round and round on my own crashing. Um, absolutely couldn't get a hang of that car whatsoever. And it looks like we've got some good old battles going on up the front. So we've got Gamer Dan out front with Greg chasing down. We've got Shumi close behind with RL9010 chasing him. We've got Boots and Cats and then we've got Drac Fury and Early Ball all very, very close together. Oh, Boots and Cats getting it really bad. He's lost it into the Arncove as well. A little bit of commentator's curse. We've got Jonesy, too good is chasing him down. We've got a uh, couple of Porsches having a go. Um, too good is running. Junior is in tenth, and Smokey's in eleventh, and Hokey in twelfth. But let's just join up the front. Um, 
yeah Faz the hard tyres for me around here was just it was too much the GR3s on hard tyres is, is just my worst worst combination I really struggle with it if I am perfectly honest uh, but just look at Greg going for this he's got traction control off absolutely monster in it chasing down gamer down at the moment going into the carousel these are your top two runners we did this one just for a bit of practice for the manufacturers tomorrow um, I cannot race over the weekend so in some respects I'm quite glad because I would have been absolutely hopeless in this one uh, Shum is chasing down those front two, but he's uh, 2.7 seconds off at the moment. But uh, IRL9010 is closing fast. He's just under a second behind Shumi with, I'm assuming, a slipstream. Just getting up into sixth gear and then Ernie Ball quite some way off the pack. Uh, Shumi with no slipstream at the moment. But how late is he going to be under the brakes as we go into this little twisty section whoa super 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 late wow look at that closed up massively 2.4 seconds behind now and RL still right with him he's just a second behind Shumi's car just getting a little bit loose on the exit there getting the tyre up onto the kerb massive commitment from the guys through here whoa RL well how on earth did you save that just enjoying this right now there's still quite a battle going on up front. I think we've got battles actually going on throughout the field. Uh, but up front, Greg White chasing down Gamer Dan right now. He's still out in front. Obviously, no worries about tyre and fuel in this one. We're on to the second lap as well. What commitment through there. Hard on the brakes down into second up into third third for traction second for getting the rotation into the corner one of the things I've got to remember to do is change up earlier through the corners for the traction sparks flying off the back of Game of Dance car again full commitment through here Greg really closing up Just jump on board with Shumi for the moment. He's got Aero 9010 chasing him down at the moment. So these guys are sort of 11 seconds ahead of Drac Fury behind. So these four really are out in front at the moment obviously anything can happen one mistake and it can all change a little bit further back Drac Fury's in a battle with Ernie Ball and Boots and Cats and Jonesy's involved with this one Boots and Cats just taking a little look up the inside of Ernie Ball there just as we cut to him well big commitment from Jonesy through there massive commitment Boots and Cats gets a wheel on the grass but managed to hold that quite nicely. Boots and Cats right on the back of Ernie Ball now and he gets it really sideways. Did they touch? I'm not quite sure. Side by side into this corner. Who is going to come out of this one in front? Boots and Cats is up on the gravel. He's up on the kerb. It's all loose. Ernie Ball's got this a lot more smooth and planted. Ernie's going to get a nice run out of this corner. Boots and Cats got the back end a little bit light. I think that's cost him. That's also going to let Jonesy through, who's now got a run, a uh, slipstream, I should say, on Ernie Ball. Oh, Ernie Ball's gone deep. Boots and Cats 
I don't know how he managed to get around there, but did Jonesy and Ernie Ball get into each other? Because Jonesy backed out of that one. If you did, thank you very much for the respectful racing, my friend. To Jonesy and Ernie Ball. Round two. Jonesy's got a really good run down here. wheel on the grass oh my word how is this not ending in tears well it may well have already ended in tears a moment ago but we're into round two and round two is an absolute fight and a half and it really slowed down for this tight right hand up Jonesy using all the track Ernie Ball using all the track into the carousel Jonesy nicely hooked up but no he's going to go round he's lost it Jonesy's lost it he's on the grass has to let Ernie ball through so let's just jump forward a little bit and see where we are with our leaders so the top four RL9010 is still chasing down Shumi at the moment six seconds off of the lead at the moment uh, Shumi is um, four and a half to Greg White at the moment but Greg White is right on the back of Gamer Dan as we get to the last little twisty bit before we head down the straight wall. Greg getting really loose under acceleration there. Making me go boss side just trying to watch this one. Wow, these two really, really going for it absolutely amazing racing commitment through there is outstanding just getting it slowed down it's very easy to get on that bit of gravel on the uh, right hand side there but both of them negotiated that beautifully just 1.3 1.4 seconds constantly between these two it's sort of ebbing and flowing a few tents here and there but we enter into the main straight can Greg get a slipstream on Gamer Dan or or is it going to be Gamer Dan who is going to run away I think that Greg White may have got a slipstream but no Gamer Dan is actually pulling away a little bit Shumi has got Aero 9010 right with him no oh 9010 is catching 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 it's difficult to know where to look at the moment we'll come back to this in a moment I'm just looking at Greg White, who's now 1.1 behind. Game of down as we get down towards the bottom. How brave is Greg going to be as we get to the bottom here? Very brave. Very, very brave indeed. Looks like Game of Dan is going to get that one done. And then we've got Shumi. And RL9010 coming to the line. Shumi just getting over the line before RL9010. What a race. Two massive, massive battles going on through there. Jack Fury in the uh, Twix VW Beetle. I couldn't get to grips with that one at all. He slides across the line. We get Ernie Ball. And then we've got Boots and Cats and Jonesy behind. Oh, Boots and Cats goes off into the cones. That's going to give Jonesy a run to the line, I think. Oh, Boots and Cats just slides across the line. Oh, and he collects with Smokey on the line as well. Oh, a bit messy towards the end. And uh, let's just pick up Junior. He's in another of the Beatles uh, in 11th. What a crazy, crazy race at the end. Wow, I tell you, Game of Dan, Greg White, Shumi and RL9010. That has got to be some of the cleanest, most respectful, fastest professional racing that I have seen in a long time around the Nordschleifer. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely brilliant racing. What a treat. What a treat. Uh, I'm afraid I bailed on that one. I just I couldn't get on with that. 
to first place Gamer Dan with a 6 minutes 42.2. Greg White in second with a 6.43.2. Shumi in third with a 6.45.8. And then you've got RL90 10 really close behind. Great racing with Shumi in fourth. Drak Fury in fifth. Ernie Bourne sixth. Jonesy in seventh. Booth and Cats in eighth. Smokey in ninth. Too Good in tenth. Junior in eleventh. And Hulky, myself and Joey were all DNFs in that one. But your top three. And kudos to the three of you. What a race. Gamer Dan, Greg White and Shumi. Congratulations. Congratulations all of you. Wow. Right. Um, okay. We're doing one more. We are doing one more. And we are at Mitch uh, Road Atlanta. We are going to go seven laps. And we are in the a particular car. Um, do, 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 do. I am changing this back to whatever tyres you want to run, guys, because I am not running on hards. No, 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 no. And we're looking for the a Porsche GT3 Porsche. It's the car that we're looking for. Uh, follow Ninja's lead. He's the one that shouted this one out. And this one, unfortunately, will be my last one of the evening. Um, I don't think that is correct. Um, have I got to take it out and... Okay, I thought it was a GT3 car, that one. Uh, sorry, GR3 car. Obviously not. Obviously not. Jonesy, definitely proper tyres now. I'm not doing any more of that silliness. The guys have had their fun. Proper tyres. Proper, proper tyres. Right, we should, we should be in the Porsche. Okay, that didn't really work, did it? Let's just do it this way. I'm assuming it's going to be that one, the GT3. But I'm not sure. Greg White. Um, GT3 RS 1992. So the GT3 RS 1992 The RS 992 I've got two of them Why have I got I'll go with that one.
Obelator, good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, racing's gone good tonight. I did really well in the um, Super Touring Car Championship. I got two two podiums, two third places, and I got a fastest lap. I was amazed, absolutely amazed. Um, the fastest lap, I don't know where that came from, but really, 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 really pleased. But we're off to Barcelona next, and I, I can't race Barcelona, so I've got a lot of work to do, an awful lot of work to do. I really, really, really do. I really do. Uh, but otherwise, no, things have been going well. Uh, although I've had a struggling with the GT3 cars at the moment, uh, if I'm perfectly honest. And we're trying at the moment to get everybody into the GT3. Um, GT3 RS. Uh, so we've got Gamer Dan is in the wrong one. Osman's in the wrong one. Um... Thank you, Jackie. And great, really, really good stream. Uh, re really good event. I uh, really, really enjoyed it. It was very well organised. And uh, yeah, it was really good. Very, very good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, boy, did I have to work. <laughs> uh, but at least people have had an opportunity to see how I can race when I'm concentrating rather than when I'm trying to run a stream and entertain and look at the chat and all the other bits and pieces because I completely shut down and just did the racing. Um, right, I'm waiting for... I think we've got most of the people who are in the right cars at the moment. Where are we? Okay, so we've got 22, 22, 22. I think we are... Uh, Gamer Dan is in the wrong car, but I think he's just changing because otherwise he's going to get monstered. He'll be in the slower car. Um. That's right, Oop. Don't you worry about it. I hope everything's all right and that you're okay. And it's nice that you've dropped in to say hello. I've got a horrible feeling that Gamer Dan has just jumped out to um, grab a car and he's now lost his place. Galactical Drax Spectator stream was very, very good. I'm going to have to have a note at that. I really am. Definitely will have to have a look at that. Oh, and a Gamer Dan is in. Good. I was worried that he'd lost his place. Just waiting for Jackie Boy and then we're going to get this one underway. So just waiting for Jackie Boy. I'm assuming he's going to be grabbing the car and then he'll be with us. Uh, I'll tell you what I am going to do. Um, I'm going to change this to practice qualifying race. Because I want to do a qualifier on it. That'll annoy everybody. And we'll get going. We got the qualifier underway straight away. Racing softs, okay, that'll be fine. How are we doing? We've got uh, everybody is in the room. I think we're good to go. Let's get this one underway. Now, again, we are in a effectively a, a GT3 car, so this will be interesting. Yeah, game done. Sorry, I thought I'd lost you for a minute. I couldn't see you in the list. I thought you maybe jumped out to grab a car. Um.
This is the one that kills everybody's thumbs. This car. just completely dis went sideways oh my word not quite sure what I did there but um just as I came around that corner, the whole car just took off sideways. As you can see guys I've been practicing my GR4 racing and not the GR3s. I always struggle with GR3 cars, I don't know why. Bones from my point of view and I know you've addressed that to Jackie but it was a brilliant night. Well hosted, well organised and some great racing throughout all I've got to do now is get my head around Barcelona in the GR4 car and we'll be away what is it? I cannot even go through that first corner traction control on I mean that's binned it just coming out the pits Should have gone with my yellow one. Hmm. Well, where are we starting? Should we have a little look? <gasps> no. 16th place, what a surprise. Boy, oh boy, have I got some work to do in this one. I think I used all my talent up in that first hour and a half of racing. <laughs> I have to say, it did completely shatter me. I felt completely worn out afterwards and I've not managed to get back in the zone really since. 
for what it's worth, the, the two races I need to be on the ball, I managed to. Um, you can't turn and brake with this car. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a... Uh, I normally do okay with it. Um, I think my other car has got upgraded brakes. I think I'm in the carbon brakes in it. Um, and it just seems to, the braking seems to behave a little bit better. Um, with this one, struggling a little bit. So let's just calm down and see what we can do. Uh, yeah, assume we've got DRS on this one. That's what I said earlier on. People are going to get sore thumbs from pushing the DRS button. Holding the DRS button down. Right, good luck everybody. Uh, please keep it respectful. As always, if you do bump somebody off, then please give the place back and race with them. Otherwise, I hope you all have a really, really good race and do a little bit better than me. The other thing, I haven't got any brake balance in this car. I think in my other one, I've got the brake balance on and I normally put it sort of slightly to the rear. Which suits my driving style a little bit better. Whoa, what on earth is going on here, guys? Quiet again, aren't I? <laughs> Whoa. Dirty tyres. Oh, this car is a um, monster. more track limit penalties can I rack up I think I'm going to ban all cars except for GR4 cars in this game now. I'm going to delete them all and just come out in the GR4s.
I do like the Porsches, but some of them are so hard to drive. usual it's taken me a few laps Whoa. to just get the uh, measure of the car it's starting to get there Um, I think this is going to be me done for the night if I'm honest I am feeling completely shattered and I, I think I mean I don't know if this is an excuse but those first two races that I did in the uh, touring car championships really 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 took a lot more out of me than I thought they did because I've, I've struggled to really concentrate very much after that if I'm perfectly honest and those races really were full on concentration for me and I appreciate all of you that tuned in to watch and to support me ah no 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 I think I am I think I am seriously done for the night let's just go spectate again we're just spectating um there's been some great racing from a lot of the guys tonight that i have seen and shumi is out on his own 5.7 uh, behind we've got drac fury being chased by boots and cats and then a little bit further back we've got jonesy and game dan we've got too good is running we've got faz this is probably the one of the battles on the track at the moment, which is too good and Faz. Faz just really closing up on too good there. Just right on his back gearbox now, just point two a second behind, next to nothing. And I think these two are actually catching the guys up ahead as well. So this could well turn into a four, maybe even a five car battle in a moment. Pass making a move on too good. He's got the better line on the way in, but too good has got the inside line. Are they going to both fight that? Too good defending the inside line. Pass couldn't quite get through, but would he get the switcheroo here? He's definitely going to get a slipstream. I think that this should be moved down towards the end of this straight. Let's just stick with this one for the moment. Baz against Too Good. Too Good going super defensive. He's now cut back to the middle of the track. Baz looking for a way around the outside. Boots and cats in the gravel. That meant Faz had to back out of that one a little bit. Or oh, a bit of a slide as we go up and over the top of the hill. That's enabled Too Good just to get away a little bit. Boots and cats recovering. We've got Smokey. He's chasing down Boots and Cats as well at the moment. At the moment, Shumi is absolutely romping away with this one. Oh, we got somebody off. Faz is off. Faz off on that first turn. Oh, Smokey, that could be a penalty. Jonesy's backing out. There could have been a bit of an accident between Faz and Jonesy. Oh, 
Jonesy back on it. Osman coming through. Ernie Ball going through. Oh, Boots and Catch just getting swallowed up right now. Ernie Ball with a half second penalty. Osman taking a look up the inside of Jonesy. Jonesy with a half second penalty. So this is all going to change around at the moment. Ernie Ball with a move up in the inside of Osman. Didn't quite get that move done. So we've got Jonesy with a half second. We've got Ernie Ball with a half second. We've got Osman in a slipstream against Jonesy. So he's going to get that move done. Jonesy and Ernie Ball are going to be straight on the back of them. But look at this. Shumi has already crossed the line up front. Drac Fury just coming across the line now. But further back, well, it's all a bit even Stevens. Boots and Cats trying to chase down Osman. But it's all fairly, fairly spread out at the back. Jonesy's just coming across the line. Ernie Ball coming across the line as well. Then Baz. Junior back in 11th. Looking like he's struggling with that Porsche a little bit. And then Jackie Boy unfortunately just well down the road um, on that one and of course I just jumped out of that I couldn't could not get to grips with that car at all uh, in fact I've really struggled with a lot of the cars since we dropped out of the GR4s and the amazing couple of races I had in the Super Touring Core Championship but those were the two races that were important for me this evening all right so that one lads shumi absolutely monstered it 12 and a half seconds ahead of drac fury in second so shumi was first with a 119.2 drac fury with a 120.3 in second gamer dan in third with a 120.1 too good in fourth smoky in fifth osman in sixth Boots and Cats in 7th, Jonesy in 8th, Ernie Ball in 9th, Faz 10th, Junior in 11th, Jackie Boy in 12th, and then your DNFs, 9010, myself, Greg White, and Hulky. So quite a few of us didn't actually finish that one. But your top three, Shumi by a country mile, Drac Fury, and Gamer Dan. Congratulations to you all. Whoa! that was insane some really 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 tough racing right um i am pretty shattered uh, it's been a long week we had a couple of really really great races to start the evening as i was just mentioning with the super touring car championships uh, i managed to get two podiums two third places and the fastest lap which was absolutely brilliant for me very very unusual uh, we then jumped into the GR3 cars. <laughs> it all fell apart for me a little bit. Um, let's just turn the camera over. And uh, yeah, it all went a little bit wrong for me once we got into those cars. Um, but it does goes to show that my theory and what I'm working on at the moment is trying to get better in the GR4 cars, learn a little bit more racecraft, just try to get better in the GR4s and then step up to the gr3 so at the moment my gr3 skills are absolutely all over the place anyway i hope that you all have a really really great weekend whatever you are doing for those of you that are running in the manufacturers tomorrow good luck i hope you do well let us know how you do for those of you in discord please drop in and let us know how you did uh, i will be watching my discord over the weekend uh, but we've got a pretty full weekend joe and i so i'm not going to be on I'm not planning on being on, being on Gran Turismo over the weekend. If I do, it will just be a little bit of GR4 practice at Barcelona. But basically, we're going to be back with that one on Monday, starting off with the GR4 at Barcelona and seeing if we can start to get some decent laps together. It took me a while at Brands, but we did get there in the end. Now we're off to Barcelona. Anyway. Have a really, really good one. If you haven't already, please smack the like button on the way out. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Have yourselves a cracking weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Take care, guys. Bye bye for now.